tonight, we are working the latest in a violent altercation in a popular nightlife area in Providence. A woman is recovering tonight after being stabbed outside of a nightclub. It is our top local story tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us with more now from the mobile newsroom. Well, that's right, Nick. Uh, downtown's latest stabbing and shooting both happened at 3 a.m. when the clubs were letting out. So we wanted to find out if the city's new policy to stagger club closing times is really helping to curb violence. All's now quiet on Pine Street hours after a dangerous stabbing. Police tell us two men slashed a 21-year-old woman in the stomach after a large disturbance inside Club Ultra spilled out onto the streets. The early morning stabbing follows another violent incident in the entertainment district. Three weeks ago, a gunman opened fire at a crowd outside another nightclub, shooting two men. I think, you know, the, those occurrences, unfortunately, are uh, a part of, uh, you know, sometimes uh, the entertainment district. Andrew Inaldo is the chairman of the Providence Board of Licenses. He tells us these recent acts are upsetting, but don't reflect the success of the city's new program to stagger nightclub closing times. The disbursement uh, between one and three has been so staggered that the congestion and the... Uh, trouble that happens in that time span has reduced dramatically. In the fall, the board approved a measure to allow seven nightclubs, including Ultra, to close an hour later, hoping to ease the mass exodus of people pouring into the streets in the early morning hours. City leaders tell us the move has really helped curb violence, and clubs that don't follow the rules could lose that privilege. Our reach and purview uh, on punishment reaches to suspension, revocation, pullback of the extra hour. Uh, everything's on the table. We use all of the tools that we uh, need. Now we are told that all three victims are expected to recover and police say they've made arrests in both crimes. We did reach out to Ultra for a comment on this story, but at this point, no one's returned our calls. Live in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.